I mean, I don't know if Finn is. Well, you ain't gonna Disney Plus me. Hello, everyone. I am Mecha Random Forty Two, your favorite YouTube harpy, the one, the only, the original. Wow, the more I hear from John Boyega, the more I like him. I think he knows that Finn got the short end of the stick with this trilogy, and he knows that a lot of us have really been rooting for him, at least for the character. And we don't like seeing the character treated like a token diversity representation hire, because that's what it feels like in a lot of ways. They're just giving him crap and focusing on... The her. They're focusing on her because they really care so much about their whole their whole representation stuff. You have somebody. Oh, also thank you for subscribing. S Nickel. Really, really appreciate it. If you guys like my content, like, subscribe, share. But yeah, they, they focus so much more on the the politics and crap behind the scenes and just telling a good story. He had the best story. He was the most interesting. A former stormtrooper. Oh my god, let's let's see what that is. We didn't care what color skin he was. We're like, okay, cool. This is the cool guy from Attack the Block. Sure, got it. But no, but no. You can't stop me. I'm a Jedi from Jakku. Shut up, Bray. No one asked you. John Boyega on if he'll do more Star Wars. You ain't gonna Disney plus me. Well, here, we got we got a little interview snippet here. What would it take to get you to come back to do Finn again? In what? I mean, I don't know if Finn... Yeah. This is a standard question that they like asking a lot of the actors. You know, will you come back? You know, they're, they're still asking Alicia Silverstone if she's gonna come back and play Batgirl. I mean, come on, really. They just do... It's standard. It's standard Hollywood crap. Is well, you ain't gonna Disney Plus me. <laughs> I ain't getting no Disney Plus. <laughs> I'm watching it though. But, you know, I'll stay in the feature films. I'll, I'll stay in the feature films. Good, good. Because this is what they're doing though. They're trying to get rid and they're, they're trying to lower the brand even more so because, oh, hey, we've got the one on TV that's doing well. Star Wars should be these big theatrical main event things. This should be as big as Endgame. And it's not, it really doesn't feel like it's as big as Endgame. It's not breaking a lot of, of records other than like in the first hour on a site that nobody uses. And I've done quite with those videos on the ticket pre-sales. This is, this is what's so frustrating about this trilogy is that we want to consume Star Wars. We're Star Wars fans. We want to consume this stuff. Give us characters that we like and we will flock to it. Hell, give us something mediocre like the Mandalorian and as long as it's got a little baby so cute as long as you got a little cute baby yoda oh no but they can't even get that right because there's no toys in time for the holiday season you got to wait six or eight months by the time people have forgotten how awesome it is right and that's what they're doing they're just dropping the ball constantly ah oh, so here here we go let's see what the uh, article says if you know anything about Star Wars The Rise of Skywalker, it's that the movie from director J.J. Abrams marks the official conclusion of the three trilogy Skywalker saga. It doesn't feel like it though, does it? I mean, this just feels like a, like, like a, oh yeah, I guess that's coming soon. I mean, I'm more, I'm more interested in all of this stuff in the behind the scenes. And so many of us at this point are just there watching the dumpster fire at this point. And you know what? We're just, we're just walking up to it, warming our hands up. And you know what? Here, boom, we're, we'll fix that. Flames. There we go. I... I feel so bad for these actors because of this, this crap. I mean, the media has been pitting us against each other since the start of this trilogy, since Ghostbusters 2016, probably before that, calling every fan, every istin phobe and toxic and this and that and blah, 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 blah. Shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up. Oh, I'm trying not to yell. I'm trying to... It's like, shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up. Shut up. We're not istin phobes. You know that. We know that. Let's get past this crap. But that does not necessarily mean that the characters created for the final trilogy, especially Rey. You can't stop me. I'm a Jedi from Jakku. Ah, oh, no, no one asked you. Finn and Poe couldn't have their stories told in future Star Wars projects. Yeah, and, and you know, that's that's good. Give Finn a standalone movie or something that goes in more depth of, but I, who knows what they're doing with Rise of Skywalker. They probably won't even have the, they'll probably kill him off or some dumb crap. I don't know. 
that is if the actors are willing to sign up for them. And of course, they just recap what he just said in the interview here. Ah, Boyega is, of course, referring to the slate of Star Wars TV series set for the streaming service Disney+. Plus. While Disney+, Plus hasn't released viewership numbers for the current streaming Mandalorian, oh, I can tell you this, though. Due to Parrot Analytics, it's doing, like, 298% better than Star Trek Discovery. I like science. No, 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 I'm gonna ask I you. I like science. Stop, stop, Spock, stop! We don't care that you like science. The problem with Star Trek Discovery is that they have, like, about 50 people who actually watch the show, and then people like me yelling about it, telling, you know, how bad it is behind the scenes, etc. Stay tuned! I will be covering Star Trek Discovery Season 3. Yes, there's three of them. And Picard. What's that one comes, comes around? Oh, no. What they're going to do with those, who knows? But, hey, at least we have... The Baby Yoda Show. Oh, there's Baby Yoda. At least we have the Baby Yoda Show. There's a little boy. He's eating a froggy. He's so sweet. I think it's a boy. You'd have to be in a coma to miss the widespread obsession of the show with the breakout character Baby Yoda. Well, that's not his name. That's just what we call him. We call him Boda, Baby Yoda. We call him the bestest thing that ever happened to Star Wars ever. And he's so cute and I love him. I just want to squeeze his face. Where's my pork? Now, now I'm in cute mode. I gotta squeeze something. Uh, and of course, because now I'm squeezing something, whoa, we can cool off the fire. Boyega, however, is not keen to join in the ranks. Uh, I ain't getting no Disney+. Plus. I'm watching it, though, but I'll stay in the fe future films. Good on you for, for not... I, I hate to say this, but reducing yourself to a TV star. Because, uh, because I've always viewed television as a little bit lesser than movies. You know, you work your way up to the movies, and then you have to kind of step down and go to television once you've gotten your peak star in the movies. I hope that this Disney trilogy doesn't really screw over the actors that are actually decent in this. And as much as I make fun of the Daisy Ridley... It's, you know, it's grown on me. I don't mean any disrespect to her personally. She did it. She's having fun with it. She got paid. Well, then, I, I, I do like the fact that he's like, no, 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 I want to be in the future films. We're the movie stars here. We're not the TV stars. But then what does that say about the, the Ewan McGregor Obi-Wan show now? Because now I'm thinking it's a little less than. Now I'm thinking it's a little bit less than the film quality. I don't know. Tell me what you guys think in the comment section below. I am MechaRandom42, and I'll see you guys later. Bye. Thanks for watching. If you liked it, make sure to hit that like button. And if you want to see more, don't forget to subscribe. See you in the next video. Bye.